Another Patreon question that I've been, I don't know, it's, it's stuck in my head. If you had to start your YouTube slash media career today, do you think you would have reached the same heights? Fuck no. I didn't even ever reach a height, and there's no way I would. I'm it tor- depends, because like in my case, I feel like like what I did kind of, I was kind of one of the first to do, I, I'm aware that Hickok was doing stuff before me, but like his stuff isn't like what I did. So like I feel like if this alternate universe, I, I don't think gun channels are as big in this alternate universe. I, I, I feel like you know, I never did what I did, and so I never spawned the dozen other guys who who also tried to do what I did, and then eventually like went on to it to do it better and better and better. Like I feel like a lot of the gun channels that exist exist because of me. Um, yeah, and, yeah, I'm sure and, they did. And, and I think that as I rose, I, I sort of the, uh, what do they say? The, the tides, all ships rising rise. Rising tide uh, rises all boats. Something. Close yeah, to that. something like that. I feel like I. I so, so maybe I, I feel like if, you know if I, I feel like certainly nobody does goofy, ridiculous, over the top stuff with you know sometimes a hundred thousand dollar budget. Like nobody's gonna do that if I don't do it. <sighs> I'm tor- so I want to do Kyle first. I felt like Kyle made videos and he was a step ahead of the gun world in terms of production value right so there were other people doing guns and kyle's first ones were not that high in production value right i remember one in Mm -hmm. particular where he's like everyone says my bullets are fake he shoots into a lake it goes pop 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 it makes all these splashes which to me was neat and uh and that was really the core of the video like there wasn't a lot more than that i think that one's kind of different because like like there was a time when like Freddie W was a was was mm-hmm. uh, already had like maybe a million subs at this at that point, and so everybody gun stuff like what I was doing was equated to like Freddie W, and so I kept getting so many people saying that the guns weren't fucking real, mm-hmm. or that I, there was a green screen because <laughs> of like oh, something, yeah. a, something about that camera that I was using at that time, something in the depth of field. And also the fact that it was fall. It was like right about, it was like late October when I began filming a lot of those. And the leaves were beautiful in Georgia. And so, and there's different kinds of trees and there's oranges and yellows. And then there's like, it looked pretty in in my background. So pretty that you might think it's just a downloaded green screen background from the internet. And I'd have to make occasionally these really low effort, ridiculous videos that are just like, all right, so this is an actual bullet. (laughs) <laughs> you look closely, and it's going in an actual gun, and and bang! See, that was real. And but but I will, yeah, for sure. Like like the average video uh, in general was was much lower effort because you know you were the, any money. one of the first guys, yeah, to uh, to step it up in terms of production quality. So if FPS Russia came back today, I think he'd match the the high production quality guys that are out there now. Um, Kyle's still really good with ideas. You know, if I told Kyle I wanted to break out Woody's lab, he would have a bunch of non gun winner ideas, you know. Oh for I, sure. Th- let's make a let's make um let's make a loop de loop propane cannon that shoots three liter bottles that are uh that are soaked in kerosene. It's gonna be great. You're literally gonna shoot a three liter bottle about forty yards really fast in slow motion. You're gonna see the propane do this loop de loop burn thing. And the the kicker will be that the three liters on fire in the air and it's gonna light a target that is basically a uh, uh, a shed filled with uh, vaporized gasoline. The whole shed's going to explode. That kind of thing. Kyle's got a million of those, right? So I, I think Kyle would still succeed. Um, me doing gaming stuff, man. I also was a step ahead of the game in gaming. Uh, doing good production quality wasn't as hard back then, but I was one of the first people to figure out like what mic for good and what gain was and stuff like that. Um, ha- like, people didn't even have an audio interface. They just buy a snowball, plug it in and not know about anything. Um, I was HD early on and, and it sounds lame. Like it's nothing, but yeah, you know, like it, it helped me that half my competition was using a dazzle or something or that hapog thing that was only halfway there. Yeah. Um, that advantage is gone. I couldn't do better in terms of production quality than the people that do it now. And I don't know that I'm a better storyteller. I think I'd just be, at best, one of the crowd. I, I don't know what my trajectory would be like. <clears throat> Maybe it'd be work the ethic. same, but what you know, I work did... Ethic is, work, work ethic's important. Yeah. And, if, and one of the things that you always leveraged 
Um, and, and your biggest stride ever was was that you leveraged that early release thing. And I feel like if you started now, you'd be you'd you'd be doing that all over again. You'd be doing your best to and and maybe like being more adult than most. Let's just say that <laughs> would allow you to get in with like developers and such and be like, hey, look, I'm an adult. I'm not gonna break any street dates here. I'm not gonna do X, Y, and Z. I'm not gonna bad mouth you behind your back on social media. Let me get a, an early copy, and, and I'll hit the ground running with all this content. What is it that you want to promote? Is it your new zombie mode? Is it your new blackout mode? Like, like what is it that we want, we want to push <laughs> out there? Is it, the, is it the COD points? How about give, give me a code. It'll give them X, Y, and Z COD points. I'll have that out there on day one. You could probably work a deal like that, and then you get the game early. Because I remember when Black Ops 1 came out, mm -hmm. and you had like five or six. I don't know how many you actually had like loaded up. But there were five or six there that like came out every 12 hours or something yeah. on release date. And each one of them was like, holy shit, that's a brand new thing nobody knows about. And it's already like ready packaged, bow on top, HD quality, well thought out commentary, to the point, no like fat on it and, and ready to roll out. <laughs> and you were... I remember one. I was so if you play before the game's released, everyone out there is really good, right? The kind of people who get a game before street date are really into Call of Duty. So I was struggling to get really good gameplays. There was one gameplay. And I should thank Wings if you see this. Thank you. Um, I think I got a uh, a care package. Wings of Redemption had a thing that let him re-roll it. It turned into a chopper gunner. I went like 36 and 3, and it got a million views the day the game came out. And uh, that was really like a nice thing. You it get was a on Nuketown. View. Yeah, it was on Nuketown. And people don't know, if you've forgotten, a chopper gunner on Nuketown is, is just oh, it's still the fish game. in a barrel. Guaranteed yeah. 20 kills. There, there's yeah. somebody out there right now playing in a chopper gunner on Nuketown. It's still in the game, you but, know? Yeah, and I just, it, I went hog wild on it. I got a good gameplay. I think I put it up, and, you know, either day came out or the day after. And people just weren't seeing that everywhere. So it was kind of cool. Um yeah, I had a couple of cool things I would do. But yeah, like Kyle said, I worked hard. I don't know. I, I look at like video game Donkey, I think his name is. It's not, and, and he does a really good job. I, sometimes I see people do videos and think like, this is as good as anything I ever made. But uh, uh, maybe I'd be part of the gang. One thing that's definitely true now is like, like I, I would say that any of the guys who are like super talented, they can start any point of the game they want and they would be very successful. Because I'm, I'm finding people now who are like, before this new COD came out, they were co completely unknown. Like maybe they had 50,000, mm -hmm. modern time unknown, 50,000 subs that they earned over the course of five years or something like that. But they're incredible at this new game. And they're just leaps and bounds, you know, 10,000 subs a day and stuff like that, you know, hitting a million subs like since the game has been released essentially because they're just so good. And like their names aren't occurring to me right now. That Korean guy that I've mentioned a couple of times. Man, I have a hard time listening to him. He's like, like every time he gets a kill, he acts like he's just completely shocked. Oh, how am I doing this right now? I don't know no. what's happening. Oh, how is it? What? How am I still alive? Like, like that's his commentary, like throughout, and like, like I'm not shitting on that guy. Like, like he's doing really well, and I'm, I'm glad he's doing really well. But it's just not my cup of tea at all. Um, but I'm seeing him do incredibly well. I and I watch the gameplay. I just turn the sound off. It, it seems like gameplay is more important now than it was, whatever, 10 years ago. Like, it, it, there, there was a spot for an unexceptional gamer 10 years ago. I don't know if the name the other guy who goes, whatever, 30 and 5, and people watch that. I don't know. I think that those people play, play Blackout now. I think that that's the way to go because if you can get 10 kills and win, then you've achieved a, a, a good video, right? Like, yeah. like that's, the, that's the key. That's the thing that's nice about Blackout, and, the, and that, that's what, what's fun about Battle Royale is you don't have to have this intense 10-minute session. You can have a 30-minute session with like multiple one-minute intense parts in it, and it, it's almost like heavy weightlifting versus long-distance running or something like that. It's, it, it's, just, it's a different way to get the job done, and, and, and I feel like even if you're not quite as talented as a Shroud... Or, or 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 a summit like you can go in there and you can you can you'll have a good blackout game. We I, I haven't played in a couple of weeks, but like we have a good blackout game every you night. You can win like, every so play. often, yeah. Especially uh, we, if you're a personality, you might get aid. You know, guys who either don't want to kill you or just 
you know, killing the other 40 while you're on the side or something. You know, the guys who, if they just, if, if a pro or a cheater doesn't kill you, that's really helpful. Uh, you can't recognize people in the game. You know, it's, it, it, there's no way to know who's who unless they're stream sniping you and those people are just assholes trying to get you anyway. I, uh, it's I, I didn't want to call out. Dr. Disrespect has some fans, cheaters even, who yeah. just get 27 kills in a game but don't kill Dr. Disrespect. So that becomes. Uh, Have you seen that in, in Call oh. of Duty? Excuse me, in Call of Duty. No, this was PUBG. Ah, yeah. See, it's very different in PUBG. Um, that that happened a lot. Um, but but COD is either for whatever reason, maybe it's the matchmaking or whatever. But it's it's more difficult to stream snipe. It seems like it's harder to get into the game. Mm. And I could be wrong about this, but one of the unique things about PUBG, um, I think, is at the bottom of the screen, there's like a a server ID number that's unique to each game you're in. And so you, you can join that pre And the pregame lobby is this long, spooling up type process, three minutes, four minutes sometimes. And you can just like join 315CB. Nope. Leave. Join 3184. Nope. And you can, and you can, you can mm. get in the guy's game. And then, you know, you got your streaming monitor over here, stream watch sniping monitor, and then you got your gaming monitor here, and you're just like, all right, he's jumping and going to the castle, and I'm going to castle too. And you can really fucking ruin somebody's gameplay, and 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 it's it's a real shitty thing to do. But, yeah, but there's and, definitely and people who it sucks come to in delay too. It ruins the stream, right? Like if I can't interact with the people, then that kind of blows. Which is the yeah. so, the solution in quotes. So I don't know. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how well I could do nowadays. What's cool is the top of the top always hit new heights. Right when the current, I don't know who's on, who's king of the world right now. I'll say KSI or something. When his star fades and the next kid comes along and takes his spot, they're going to be bigger than TV. They're going to be movie stars. They already are <clears throat> bigger than TV in a lot of ways. Like people imagine, like cable TV being way bigger than it is. Like when you see like uh, the top rated news shows on cable, and it's like Hannity with three million. Rachel Maddow with 2.8 million. Like you like take a step back and you think, and it's like, oh, so people like PewDiePie don't just win these battles. They wipe the floor with them. Like YouTubers are getting views. These people like they would kill for uh, a reasonably big YouTuber view uh, total. Like their, their viewership is either stagnating or tanking.